Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome to a new game. This is Octopath Traveler COTC or short for Champions of the Continent. So right now, as of the time of me recording this video, uh, the game is currently in closed beta. So you have to basically receive an invite to be able to get in. However, there's a way for you to play the game regardless. You can do it via LD Player, which is a sponsor for today's video. Now, LD Player is an Android emulator. It allows you to run Android apps on your PC. Alright, you can use this for almost any Android games or almost any Android apps out there. Now, it's extremely lightweight compared to a lot of other Android emulators that I've used before. I personally use it a lot for a lot of the games that I play on stream. Uh, if you guys see me play Mobile Legends Bang Bang, that's one of my favorite games to play with using LD Player. So, LD Player 64-bit version will allow you to access a thing called LD Store. So you can download this game from right there without having the need to worry about the game currently being in closed beta test. You will be able to access the game. Make sure you guys use the locally installed version uh, so that it doesn't push you into the Google Play. However, if you're not in the respective regions, I believe US and JP, you will need to use VPN to be able to play the game. So keep that in mind. Big shout out to LD Player for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll leave the links in the description below so you guys can download it for yourself and try it out. Yagate. Wait, is this a summon animation? Let's go! We got the waifu dancer Lynette. Power plus 20. She might be the worst class to start with, I have no idea. Wait, more roles? Okay, this is at the beginning still. I'm still a tutorial. Apparently they are giving me more characters to get along the way. Who shall this be? 3 star warrior. No, no. Oh! Ball? He looks like Saitama! What the heck? He looks like that One Punch Man dude! Who else? Connie? Okay. All three stars. I'm guessing these three characters are like the fixed characters you get. Okay, so this is how the game looks like. Alright, basically you are exploring in the town and there will be a minimap guiding you on the top right. Let me just turn off my cam, I think it's blocking the entire view of it. Now, as you can see, you can move in the town, you can move out of town, there's plenty of things to explore, uh, you can talk to every single townsperson, so this particular one will give you a quest. Now, every person that you talk to, there's a chance to be able to buy items from them or recruit them to fight your battles, which is pretty crazy. Like this button at the bottom here, when you click on it, uh, I think this is a very unique feature to this game. Collection point info times one. Okay, can you see there's this thing called purchase, there's this thing called hire. So you can basically purchase things from... That there's a lot of these guys uh, in the town, like not everyone, but a lot of NPC that you can talk to will have this ability yeah. for you to purchase items, you can buy things from them. There's also this ability to haggle. So what haggle does is you are going to get uh, something for cheaper uh, discount, but you can see the chance is only 66%, so meaning you have a 33% to fail, and if you fail, it will harm your reputation in this particular city. So every time your reputation goes down, for it to go back up by one, you need to wait for daily reset. So daily reset is the way for this game to work. Uh, I have no idea how this game works entirely because a full-fledged single-player game, it seems like. Uh, a lot of people have been comparing this to another Eden. So as you can see, higher option is here as well, so you can hire. Same goes for the higher option, you can hire this guy for 200 gold, I have 7661, I have a lot, I can basically hire him. So what he does in battle is deal physical access damage to a single foe. So basically, they will just come into the battle and use this skill. So they are not participating in the battle as your four characters should. Alright, so keep that in mind. But uh, depending on some of them has elemental damage, like I have one guy that deals lightning damage, that is quite good. Elemental damage definitely has affinity as well. So as you can see, haggle will harm your reputation. So let's give it a shot, alright? If we haggle this, alright, as you can see, I already got two guys right here. So this guy has Thunderbird, the one that I'm talking about. So I can, 
I need to throw somebody away. You can have two allies, you know? So maybe I take this guy out. This is the mayor. I'll part ways with Valor Mayor for now, okay? And I'll try. So as you can see, cost 80 gold, but of course success rate is only 60% chance. Can we get it successfully? Let's give it a shot. I've already failed twice trying to get the mayor earlier. Yeah. Afraid I can't lend an ear to that request. So, no. so, yeah, here you mentioned reputation uh, increased by one every day. So we fail one more time. So should I give it another shot? Let's go. Let's be crazy about this. Come on, come on. Yes! Alright, so this fierce looking man has become my ally. Awesome. Let's go. Alright, so the battle system in this game is pretty pretty interesting actually. Um, it is a turn base, so keep that in mind. So as you can see, uh, I can use my skills and there's way to set them if you want to go boost level 2. Alright, deal physical damage, potency 50. So it's like a it's like a mana sort of thing. So in this case, you can also use skill depending on what you want. So for example, deal elemental fire damage. So I'm gonna go for that. Let's go with this. Looks like the enemy is bigger than me. Okay, nice. Yeah, it has that revive witch vibes all over it, but at a more complex um sort of scenario. I actually like this uh the, the vibe of it. You know, pixel art with turn base. Okay, they are doing very little damage. So we're just gonna go. You can set this to max, but of course it consumes uh more SP. So this should be enough. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. GG! That guy got destroyed. That's the one punch man guy that I obtained. 500 gold. Level 2. Nice. Now let's talk about a couple of things uh before we do the gacha to show you guys uh, a few other features in the game. So if you look at the game, there's this thing called the party, right? So you can equip four characters for the time being, and as you can see, there's equipment as well. So each of them will have their own individual equipment that you can put. Uh, obviously, if you want to just optimize, just click optimize. It's like an auto equip sort of thing, right? And then there's this set skills, which I really like. This is what makes the game uh, sets the game apart from other games like Revive Witch, for example. Now, if you play Revive Witch before, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, that you can set skills and learn skills. When you learn skills, for example. Uh, there's this thing called the current JP. JP is like job points, I believe. So let's say Nana. If I click on it, so you can see it's like a it's like a skill tree, but it's in a square. So if I want to learn HP plus four, I need to learn this first. So this will consume one JP. Boom. So now I can choose either HP plus four or a raise on physical defense. So depending, uh, I would highly recommend going this path and get this. So once you get a uh, Raise own elemental attack by one, right? Now you can learn this battle skill. Now this battle skill, deal elemental dark damage to a single foe. I like this. So I'm gonna learn this. Shadow Strike. So now we can equip this extra skill. So Shadow Strike. Put this SP cost is 9. That's crazy. That's crazy. But uh, you can see it does a lot of damage. So yeah, you can do this for all your characters. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's have a look at the... What we want to call the gacha, right? The gacha is called um, Guy right here. But let's go to the mail and claim first. I have no idea how to get more uh, gacha currency, the premium currency. Basically, it's the rubies. But the dev team is kind enough to provide some to the players. Rubies times 200 right here. Just a quick one uh, in case you guys are wondering. The, there is dailies in the game. Alright, so it's called feats. Right? So you can see uh, the dailies right here. You do get some memory shards, some bronze guide stone, but I don't see the premium currency. Oh, you do get this. If you clear 9 daily tasks, you get 5 rubies. So every single day, you are able to uh, claim 5 rubies, which is not much to be honest. So let's see, I got 50 rubies because some are from weekly as well. For weekly, you can get 20 rubies. So to do pools, uh, a multi pool will consume 300 rubies. So you need to save for quite a, quite a number amount. So right now we have this Millard, alright? So apparently there's Fragment, there's Chance Encounters, and then there's this Traveler Sacred Seal as well. Now, as you can see, 0.25% um, to get 4 star and 5 star. Alright, for 3 star is 1.25%, 1%, so it's like 2%, 2% to get 4 star and 5, 5 star. Let's see if I can recognize any animation. 
That looks pretty generic. Uh, 3 star. Mina Dancer. It's my second dancer. Uh, my main character is a dancer as well. Dang! So this is a pure 3 star. A thief. And... Uh, Apotex... Apodakari? Okay, I think she's a healer of some sort. Ooh! A dude? Dang! Finally a dude! Okay. Ooh, Archer. Okay. Now the game doesn't seem to have a limit in terms of how much you can grind per day. Like, which is... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing depending because there's no stamina system. Uh, which I do appreciate actually. It feels more like a single player game. So you do encounter enemies by just running through the forest. Uh, going left and right, you know, sometimes you have those random encounters. And you destroy them in one single hit like right now. Right, that's how you level up usually. So, um... I do like this system. Uh, I do think that having no stamina can be a good thing depending on what you're looking for in a game, right? In a gacha game that's filled with, you know, a stamina system everywhere, it's just so hard to, to be able to progress at a pace that you like. So I think this game does provide something that a lot of other gacha games do not. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of Octopath Traveler COTC. Let me know of your thoughts. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Don't forget to check out LD Player. I'll pin it in the comments below.